Hi there, welcome back. This week I'm with my good friend Lisa Gilbert, the brand manager of Henry Lloyd here in Australia. Lisa worked with crews from wild oats all the way through to uh, people just starting out on their offshore adventures and um, basically knows everything worth knowing about modern wet weather gear. Now, Lee, thanks for coming today. We, um, you know, we talk a lot about wet weather gear having gone a long <laughs> way in recent years and see a lot of people, including myself, upgrading. Yep. Why? What, yep. what are the, what's yep. the progression? Yeah, well, I think the, 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 the benefits um, in the innovation of the technology over the last few years has meant that the material now that you use for your offshore kit is so light. So you've still got a, a really good range of movement. Um, there's none of that clunkiness that you used to get with the, uh, the offshore kit, you know, that you needed that heaviness for the protection. Now with the, this lightweight material, um, you're getting all the protection, all the durability. It's actually 30% more breathable. Yep. Um, so um, a, a lot of people are uh, immediately jumping in to buy offshore kit um, and using it um, for all of their sailing, whether it's day sailing or, or coastal sailing, whatever, because um, the, the kits actually adjust really easily to, to any purpose. Awesome. Um, and a um, couple of other things I found. When I first taught people out here that had come over from the UK, they had their big ocean suits, this was 10 years ago, and actually, like, even the hoods, yes. they then, they you know, they put the hood up and they couldn't see anything. Yep. Um, what do you think? Is that, I yeah, mean, I see you got yeah, a hood on this yeah, one now. Yeah, well, again, we've come a long way in that um, now you can have your hood up and from a safety perspective, you've got the OptiVision on the sides. Yep. Um, so, you know, you, you can actually see what's going on without losing any of that protection from the elements. The whole point of having that hood is for protection. So you want to be able to use it and still feel safe. Um, yeah, so there's probably a few other things too that have um, moved on, you know, in the last 10 years or so. Yep. Um, for instance, with the women's version now, you've got the drop seat. And I yep. know it's pretty important for a lot of women, particularly when you're out there to make it as easy as possible. Well, so and a du double zip. I won't, won't yep. go the full way now. Yep. But Double zip for the guy for the is blokes. pretty handy yep, as well. Yep, yep. can go either way. Yeah, absolutely. And not to be too personal, but yep. um, you will see that there's a flap here so that um, you, you've got that plus the, the double drainage flap here. So lots of protection from that water actually seeping in when you're having to zip and unzip at those times. Uh, PLB pocket? Absolutely, yep, it's a must. So yep. all your premium brands are going to have a PLB pocket, so it's something to look out for. Um, and then personally, I always go for a jacket like this. I, I find when I've got the big pouch, like a kangaroo, I get so much stuff in it. Yep, it's yep. It's not very comfy. Yep. It not is a personal thing much. though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I like that, but then I find my pockets here. Yep, what fluffy about you? pockets. Where do you normally, what's your favourite yeah, pockets? Yeah, definitely here, especially if you're sitting on the rail. Yep. Um, and those fluffy pockets, it's all those little comforts that at the end of the day um, uh, make you understand, you know, why you buy a premium wet weather jacket. And uh, the last thing before we uh, get the fire hose on us, babe, yep. um, just wanted to talk about the colour. Yes, so I, yep. I, I mean, uh, different colours get pros and cons. Yep. Red is a big favourite, a Absolutely. huge seller for Henry Lloyd. Yeah, um, it, it is a huge seller and quite often, you know, we'll have people say, I want some colour in my shop or, you know, I want to see some colour. but. We put that colour into the shops and everyone comes back and they want red because everyone knows that, you know, from feedback from rescue crews in major races, that red's the colour that they've found is the easiest one in that emergency situation to find. For visibility. Yes, yep. yep. Um, beautiful. And then the last thing I wanted to check in with you today is um, when you when you talk about getting kind of different layers and you know yep so yep yep so we would um, always recommend the the multi-layer system so your thermal base layer and then your mid layer again all the the premium brands now have got this um, glide technology so you will find that it, it stops that binding that you used to get you know between your layers um, and and our mid layer is designed to work with the outer layer so that they're not working against each other they glide against each other okay yeah and I know I said it'd be my final one yeah bit of a hard one this one when you start buying gear like this it really is an investment absolutely so it is yep. when you're gonna talk time yep how many I mean I, I purchased this from you nearly two years ago or 18 yep. months ago already yep. Yep. and I think it looks pretty good. Yep. 
and I sail every day. Yep. Obviously yep. not in this every yep. day, but yep. what do you? Um... And I'd suggest that's probably because you understand how to look after it. Right. So I, I don't know, but I, I suggest that you make sure that it's dry. So when when you finish with it, you put it somewhere where it's going to dry because they're technical fabrics. So think of it like a skin. And if it's still got something on it, then eventually it's going to get infected, if you like. Yeah. You know, that's probably the easiest way to explain it. So you want to make sure that it's dry. Don't go washing it in the washing machine. Um, right. Hang it up on the um, on the line. Get the hose on it. If you really, really have some stains you want out, go to Woolworths. Get the pure soap. It costs two dollars for six bars. It has to be pure soap. Rub it on, and then again, fresh, cold water, and to wash it off. Keep cool. it simple. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Well, look, I, uh, I've been a huge fan of this, and thanks for coming in today. We're going to get ourselves soaking wet now and see if we come out dry. Yep, fantastic. Cheers.